establish the foundation and then to continue with the construction process. And the timeline that was given was quite challenging because it was less than one year to do such a project, which involves not only the construction but the design. So all the activities were like going on concurrently at the same time, the design, the construction, the equipping, you know, because you even have to source the equipment as the design was even being developed and so on and so forth. So to the glory of God, today we are here to perform what I will call pre-handing over inspection, which is scheduled to take place before the commissioning of the project. Now, I will also want to give you a brief, when we say presidential wing of the State House, what does it entail? It entails a facility that is over uh, 2,485 square meters. It is on virtually one suspended flow, but we have a basement flow. Because of the terrain, the topography of the site, we are compelled to introduce a basement flow for utilities and some other services, which is at the back of the site. So technically you plant. We also have uh, a conference room where paraventure the president may happen to be here. We don't pray. But if for any reason he is here and he still needs to carry on with the duty of state and the rest of them, he has opportunity to have meetings and the rest of them in this place. We also have five number specialist consulting rooms. And these specialist consulting rooms are all equipped with what each of the specialists that will sit in that office requires. That is, we have an ENT consulting room. We have a consulting room for the cardiologists. We have a consulting room for the ophthalmologists. We have a dental consulting room. And then we have a GOP, the general consulting room. And all these rooms are equipped with the requisite equipment that the consultant requires to perform the necessary procedures he needs at that level before escalating it to any of the specialist uh, uh, suits of uh, uh, other laboratories that we have in the place. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have seen and heard it all. Um, uh, this project uh, is actually quite belated, but as they say, it's better late than never. Um, we've seen that this is a facility, world-class, state-of-the-art, with a lot of equipment uh, and capability to carry out any uh, procedure you can imagine. Uh, the previous one has been a little bit remote from the seat of power. This one is situated within the seat of power, within the villa. And emergencies come at any point in time, and it can happen in the dead of the night. Uh, so the fact that this one is situated uh, right here says a lot. And uh, we've seen uh, there is a lot of installation going on, and uh, a lot of things are going to still come. Uh, this is just a pre-handover pre inspection we are doing. We are satisfied, and I think uh, we have to congratulate all of us for this great feat. Thank you very much. Sir. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, attended this uh, edifice uh, and you have seen what is there. I wish to thank Mr. President first for the opportunity to approve this project and also I want to commend uh, the PAM Sect, the CPP to Mr. President and uh, the APAGU and the rest of the team for tirelessly trying to make sure that <coughs> this project takes off. I want to congratulate and appreciate Julius Berger for the timely work on this. I know they work almost <coughs> 24 hours. I can see them from certain view. And uh, also the project manager and uh, whom are tirelessly going around this project to make sure that it comes on stream. If you calculate the time that uh, they started the scratching the ground floor here and what we have uh, in this edifice, you will commend them, you know, and uh, uh, I, I wish to send uh, to say that I really commend their tenacity of doing this uh, project in good time. And uh, Despite that it is a hospital, nobody wished to be hospitalized or something, but it is something 
that uh, for emergency, it can happen any time, mm -hmm. you know, that uh, we have something very close to the proximity. And thank you very much, gentlemen of the press. Thank you. So. Um, we've all seen this thing together. Um, right now, as we have seen, there is a lot of unpacking of equipment. There is a lot of um, installation of equipment going on. And I would want to say that this has provided us an opportunity to assess what has been achieved to date. This is also going to give us an excellent opportunity to make observations to the contractors. Whatever we have seen, we would review and would get back to them. Now, let me just make a note. This is not a luxury hotel. This is the pres presidential hospital. It is not actually only the presidential wing. This is a complete presidential hospital, as you all have seen. There is no more to say um, except to invite the chief personal physician to Mr. President to also give you his impression um, about the inspection. Uh, we're not giving any last words. We're doing this so we can have an opportunity to assess what is on the ground and to get ready for the official commissioning uh, when Mr. P uh, President approves. CPP, please. Before the CPP will come, what becomes of the one across? There is nothing to say at this time. This is just a pre-handing over inspection. CPP, please. Yeah.